Hello everyone, it's Jess and welcome back to the channel. For today's message, whenever you find it, it is meant for you. I will be doing a pick a card. And in this pick a card, we are focusing primarily on the fire signs, all right? So my Aries, my Leos, my Sagittarius's, this reading is for you. I would like to invite you to take some time here if you need to by pausing the video to decide which bird you resonate, which color bird you resonate with. Certainly, I always like to offer up the ability to trust your intuition and go with the bird that comes to your mind first, but certainly if you need more time, then take it. We have red, orange, and blue bird here today with our tarot card focus. We will be using the Tarot of Curious Creatures by Chris Ann, and that box covers there in the back for you as well. Please know that all of this is found in my Amazon affiliate links within the description. If you are curious about purchasing the deck, if you are interested in purchasing glass birds, you like wigs, you like dragon rings, you like fun things like Lego sets, or even this old thing here, this lava lamp. Well, I put a bunch of different things within my links for your interest or right and your convenience to have it right there in the description for you. Without any further ado, we're going to jump into it for my fire signs. All right. For those of you that resonated with little red bird here, <clears throat> Red birds, your card is the Eight of Wands for your Tarot focus. All right, look at that. You can see there's speed involved in this, isn't there? And even a turtle, isn't that funny? Okay, and knowing that all Tarot cards originate from original game. It was a game at one point, all right? So the overall energy of the cards, I'll be bringing that forward, reading that, but I will also spend some time reading the additional booklet message that our deck creator Chris Ann put together in her perspective and her perception. Again, those links are found there in the description. Check them out. All right, let's get into it for my red bird fire signs. Good news, travel, things happening quickly, split second decisions, positive resolutions, Quickly evolving circumstances. Ooh, wow, something's in, coming in quickly into your life, all right? Or you're in a position where you need to make a quick decision, okay? <clears throat> quick, make it quick. The Eight of Wands brings a burst of energy that can manifest the hoped for, the worked for, and the gleefully unexpected. And these new vibrations will show up in the blink of an eye, all right? This speedy and positive energy promises delightful opportunities, especially if you can pivot and move swiftly enough to catch them. Things are happening fast, so run, sprint toward that which you know you want. All right, so it's not about really taking the time to think or contemplate that part has already been done all right now you're at the part where you're making those decisions okay and you're coming to those decisions quickly and decisively okay and <clears throat> if you need to you know write down anything any details about what is you know even a pros and cons list really of why you're choosing to move on this so quickly and 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 what are those reasons for you okay or if you do need to make a quick decision, then you might need to, and you're not ready to, for whatever reason, you might want to start with this, okay? Making the pros and the cons list of what if I made this quick decision in this way, or what if I did it this way? Because this card is really asking you to take the swifter way for whatever reason, okay? <clears throat> Having clarity and certainty here will of course be necessary, absolutely. Having the clarity, writing in those details, those pros and cons, all right, will be necessary for you to make the most of this window of vibrant velocity, okay? So it sounds like there's a window of opportunity being presented to you, red birds, and you have to take your action now, okay? Not knowing where you are headed 
will likely cause frustration right now. Even if all you have is a shell of a plan, grab your faith and take the chance when it presents itself. As now is not the time to hesitate, okay? If you're unsure and experiencing delay after delay, maybe time to wonder which new fields the universe has prepared for you and which unexpected roads are offering an opportunity for you at this time, okay? So really thinking about making this move, taking this window of opportunity to make that move quickly and also knowing that if you hesitate, then you might actually talk yourself out of this, Spirit wants me to say, all right? So there, there, there's some problem, I don't know if problem's the right word, but there's some situation that won't turn out in the way that you are wanting to if you do indeed hesitate. Take it how it resonates, if that makes sense, okay? Turtle conversations. Bet you thought I was turtly slow, right? Time is relative and speed may feel different to you than to others. What type of pace do you tend to keep? Okay. Have you been running too quickly and missing your cue or lagging behind and, and watching the opportunity pass you by? All right. So there's two pieces to this really, you know, opposites ends of the spectrum. Going too quickly, not honoring the details or going too slowly and absolutely missing it, okay? <clears throat> what is your relationship with time, okay? Spirit wants me to bring forward that some of you need to focus on time management, right? And, and really looking at how you spend your time and where are those areas that you could actually use your time more wisely. All right, things that are holding you back or, or commitments or, you know, things that you have been putting your energy into that really aren't giving back or aren't bringing you to that goal. All right, maybe you need to switch your approach, tweak your approach or release this from your schedule altogether. Take it how it resonates. We're all living different lives. So this is going to apply to different areas. All right. And how often do you pick up and jump out of your shell in order to seize the moment? Absolutely. Sometimes it might make us feel uncomfortable, but are you willing to be uncomfortable? Okay, that's something to ask yourself too. Wow, red birds, the fire signs that resonate with the red bird. Time to take action. And when do we take action? Today, because today is our day and now is our time, all right? We know tomorrow isn't promised and yesterday is done and over. So take that inspired action today, Redbirds. And we're going to move right on here with the orange birds. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right, orange birds. If you resonated with the orange birds, my fire signs. King of Cups. <clears throat> Look at that beautiful image there. I love this deck, and if you're interested in this deck, just check out my Amazon links in the description. There's other things there for you as well. Look at this fun and quirky image, okay? We've got a humanoid body with a polar bear head, and that's really the theme of this deck. It's really fun. How do you resonate with the polar bear, okay? Take it how it resonates. We're going to jump into the booklet. Now, we know that Tarot, and maybe you don't know, but Tarot does have overall energetic meanings from the original game that was created a long, long time ago. And since then, people have created their own takes on it, all right? Their own decks, all right? So <clears throat> I like to, <clears throat> pardon me, a little froggy in my throat. So for me, that means that somebody might have a blocked throat chakra and they need to speak their truth. So take it how it resonates, all right? King of Cups, the overall energy for Tarot, King of Cups is mindfulness, dignity, kindness, a heart-centered leader, an incredible capacity to love, an empathetic soul, centeredness, a profound connection to spirit, emotional intelligence, right? Emotional intelligence is so much more important, okay, than the intelligent quotient okay, or IQ, okay, your EQ or, intel or emotional quotient is 
so much more valuable than your actual intelligence quotient, right? That's what, <clears throat> pardon me, <clears throat> somebody here may have a blocked chakra, right, in the throat, like I just had mentioned. So <clears throat> I'm channeling that here today. I do channel other people's ailments, so that is coming through loud and clear, especially for my orange birds. It didn't really show up in the red birds who are before you, okay? So what are you not saying? orange birds. What are you holding back on? Okay. You're calm and compassionate and blissful awareness of your, of your responding emotions. Okay. The polar bear king of cups sits smiling, powerful, and perfectly attuned to his environment. He is centered and ready to offer relationship advice, love, a peacekeeping solution, and most of all, forgiveness. He claims his power regardless of his circumstances around him. And he remains grounded and connected to his higher self, even though his melting homeland shifts tumultuously. He always swims towards benevolent surroundings and uses his kind wisdom to make sure that everyone is looked after. Follow his courageous and compelling lead. All right? And if you do need to express some, something to someone, you need to communicate to somebody Use that compassion. Use that emotional intelligence to approach it, okay? Place yourself in other people's shoes that are on the receiving end of this communication and then tailor that communication considering, all right, orange birds? You're showing empathy and willingness to hear the perspective of those around you. Seek quick solutions to any challenges that arise and find a balance between the logic of the mind and the sediment of the heart. In shadow, he reminds you to steady your internal world. Walk away from manipulative situations or from your own tendencies to pull rank, to over control your emotions or to sway the emotions of others. Okay, be careful of that, right? Find peaceful, solid ground with your passionate wisdom. Polar bear conversations. I am the spirit of tenacity and strength. And I walk proudly. And in love with the world. Power and peace can be found when we rein ourselves in and put our emotions to good use. How do you use your emotions to your best advantage for a life well lived? Absolutely. And, you know, for those that are resonating with the need to have that difficult conversation or that communication that you've held back, and, and that's why I channeled that throat chakra <clears throat> blockage here, remember that in order to move forward, you have to have this conversation, okay? And like I said, using the emotional intelligence to approach this, all right? And understanding how emotions, you know, on the other end of things and not necessarily related to this, you know, communication coming through that needs to happen. But how do you allow emotions to dictate your life? Okay. Do you understand that emotions are there to guide you, but you're not supposed to let them necessarily control you, if that makes sense? We don't, you know, we can feel all of the emotions of what it means to be human, okay? We shouldn't necessarily label one as good or bad. Of course, there's more high vibratory emotional states versus low vibratory emotional states. And when it comes to low vibratory emotional states, you still allow it. You still feel it, but you don't become it. You feel it, you thank it for the lessons, and then you release it. So please consider that as well. Beautiful powerful message there for the orange birds. All righty, and we're coming right on to the blue birds here today, the fire signs that resonated with the color blue here today. Your tarot focus for whenever you find this, because it's timeless, is going to be the number nine, the hermit, all right? So how do you resonate with the number nine or any other numbers that come your way that are repeating in your life? Those are signs and synchronicities meant for you to take a deeper dive on, do your research, do your homework, do internet searches about numerology. Spirit wants me to say life path number, which is very interesting. I'm actually a life path number nine, okay? You can go out and do an internet search about 
you know, calculators to find out your life path number and find out what information could be there for you regarding that number, okay? Certainly angel numbers as well are coming through, but life path number, I really want you to, I really challenge you to take a deeper dive into that and, and find that information out. Let me know in the comments which life path number you are and what are you doing as a result of learning that, okay? Very important. Why don't you look up life path number nine just for fun so you can see what mine is all about, all right? But anyway, if you do enjoy this deck, it's such a quirky deck with the humanoid bodies and the animal heads, I do have those lovely links in the description to my Amazon affiliate links. It will include things like the deck as well as other things that I show in my videos. So check them out if you're interested. We're going to get into it here with the Hermit card, okay? You need to take some time to think, take some time away with yourself, okay? Nothing wrong with that. Sometimes we get so caught up that we forget that we need to do this as part of the balance as well, all right? And as part of Tarot in general, as it originated from a game long, long ago, there's general energy of every single card, okay? I'll read the general energy, and then we'll get into the specific booklet message that the deck creators created from their own perspective and perception, okay? Overall energy of the Hermit is solitude, inner wisdom, guidance, contemplation, simplicity, instinct, meditation, finding your purpose, soul searching, spiritual realignment, expansion, sacred aloneness, okay? Maybe you need to go on one of these gatherings, these retreats by yourself, okay? And sure, you can certainly meet new people at these retreats and, and have social interactions, but at the end of the day, you're, you know, returning to your hotel room or Airbnb by yourself and contemplating what happened, okay? Or doing something different. Maybe you need to take yourself on vacation alone. Maybe you've never done that before. Okay, it doesn't have to be a long trip. It doesn't have to be overseas. It could be somewhere in your same town, whatever it is, but challenging yourself to maybe remove yourself from the situation so you can think about things. Okay, this is coming up for you. Sometimes it's impossible to see the unique qualities of your essence while you're in a field of others' opinions and beliefs. Absolutely. In such moments, conscious withdraw to find your own inner radiance and wisdom is the most loving and sacred soul medicine you can offer yourself, all right? I also want to say, consider meditation, okay? Consider the practice of meditation. Go out to your homework, do your research. There's a lot of individuals out there that promote wonderful information about meditation. I'm going to name drop with that Dr. Joe Dispenza because I really enjoy his work. There is a book within my Amazon links to check out there as well. You can take a deeper dive and do an internet search on him. Retreat to your sacred space for quiet introspection and look at where the light shines. And notice where it does not. What shadows obscure your peace and serenity? Cast them out by forgiving your human imperfections and offer yourself the same compassion that you offer to others in your life. Understand that this is a solitary process that is an important part of your journey. And while it may feel lonely or frightening, spirit is always with you. Take your time, explore honestly, seek your own profound inner guidance, and expect an inspired realignment as part of your path with your soul. Know that you are infinite wisdom and light. Okay, don't forget that. Don't forget it, bluebirds, that you are absolutely divine. Okay, you are everlasting energy, infinite, okay? Rhino conversations. As an almost unicorn, I know a thing or two about being alone. I know what it's like to feel like an outcast and a misfit. And I know exactly what it's like to be the last of my kind. Sacred aloneness is nothing to fear. It is a beautiful gift of time when you will hear your heart clearly, trust your intuition to guide you. Bluebirds, you are being asked 
to prioritize some sacred aloneness. Let me know in the comments what that means for you, Bluebirds, and how you're going about doing it. Wow, beautiful and powerful messages here today for all of my lovely birds, all of my fire signs. Thank you for being with me here today. I appreciate every single one of you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please check out those links, those affiliate links in the in the description box. I almost said chat box. In the description box. All right, leave me additional comments. I love to know what's going on with you. Have a beautiful day. Put your best foot forward. Be the best human you can be. And if you're taking any sort of inspired action, do it today in this promised moment of the present. For tomorrow's not promised, not to any of us. Yesterday, it's done and over. Take the lessons learned and apply it to your life moving forward, realizing every single day is a gift. May we say thank you, God. Thank you, universe. Thank you, source. Or whatever label you want to use, I'm not here to convince you. Have a beautiful day and come back again and join me for yet another timeless collective pick a card fire sign message. Bye bye.